Hey, it's Ray and today, today is bittersweet because I'm moving out of my Pomona apartment. Did I have to wash my hair with Dove body wash? Yes, I did. I think this is a pretty fitting visual for how this how this trip has gone. Basically, it was a shit ton more cleaning, a shit ton more scrubbing, and a shit ton more disinfecting than either one of us anticipated. I am thankful for the memories, but thankful to be leaving. <laughs> I am in my future apartment. I just came out to SAC to do a job interview for a social media position. It went really well, so we'll see. Hopefully it turns into something. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> As you guys can see, we are all moved in to our new apartment. I figured today's video would be easy to just bring everybody up to date with the events that have happened, as opposed to just giving you three vlogs in a row that are pretty outdated. Also the most exciting part, I drove up to SAC last week to go to a third interview for a social media analyst position that I really kind of didn't know if I was gonna get. I still kept trying to bring myself down to reality in the fact that we are in a global pandemic. But guess what? They took a chance on a college graduate anyways. And I am now working for the baby clothing company, Cheerily Co. It's so weird because 2020 hasn't even been the worst year personally. I've been long distance and waiting to reunite with my boyfriend for going on four years. <laughs> Eight out of 10 would recommend getting a dog if you're in an LDR. Also comment down below if you ever want Chris and I to kind of talk about our experience going long distance, coming back from this like 10 foot branched off tangent. We are now living in the Sacramento area. Since moving here, I ended up putting so many of my clothes on Depop and making so many goodwill trips just because we all have way too much stuff. <laughs> While taking out the old has been a really cathartic experience, bringing in the new has been just as exciting if not more, let me tell you. I don't know why, but every time I go to Goodwill, I end up donating like two garbage bags full and I come back with two shopping bags full. This is so off topic, but like, let's just get into it. One of the clothing companies that reached out to me that I was previously a fan of was a store on Amazon called Belle Pock. I really hope that's the name of it and it's not like Belle Pouquet. They're a company that produces 100% cotton dresses in patterns that are super, super similar to 1940s and 1950s fashion. They sent me three pieces that have honestly been in my cart for quite a while. <laughs> but as we know, I just moved and it wasn't really the time to prioritize personal fashion over like a blender and a coffee maker. I've already worn all of this stuff out to work, to the grocery store, and it just makes you feel better. When you put that extra 10 minutes of effort in at the beginning of the day, it really does change how you feel the entire rest of the day. So here are a few of the items that the Belle Pock sent me. I follow them on Instagram, so if you guys get any of this stuff and tag them, I would love to see how you guys style your own.
in my high Yeah, suck it in. Do that. There you go. Hey, no, no. Can you control your daughter? That's all she wrote.